garage door. Whew, what a beauty. What up, everybody? Uh, today I wanted to talk to you guys about a couple updates for my STI. Um, the upgrades that I want to do in the near future or that are coming in soon. Oh, 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 oh. But before we start talking about the STI, uh, I gotta go to the hardware store I gotta find like a 10 millimeter bolt that is holding one of my sensors I, I don't know how I lost that little bolt um, but it's kind of tapping on my on my mind if I'll show you guys in a little bit if I find that bolt um, it should be kind of like a just like an average 10 millimeter bolt also I do need a haircut because uh, tomorrow I am going to be leaving to Connecticut for Wicked Big Meat. So I'm going to do, I'm going to be driving my STI once again for a seven to eight hour uh, little road trip to Connecticut, uh, spend the night, and then the next morning on Sunday is uh, Wicked Big Meat. So whoever is going to Wicked Big Meat, just leave me a comment below. Let me know that you guys are going to be over there. I'm going to be, of course, again, autocrossing at Wicked Big Meat and I believe I am number 30 so if you guys see my car out there number 30 on the side just come say hello uh, I also have number 11 from Boxer Fest because I still left my stickers from Boxer Fest so just come say hi man um, you know it's cool meeting new people or people that actually watch my my, my channel uh, I did meet a couple people on, at Boxer Fest that came say hi and say, hey, I watch your, your stuff. That's pretty cool, man. I, I, it makes me happy. You know, when it's like a really nice day out and all of a sudden you want to take the your nice car out, you know, the STI, all of a sudden it just starts freaking uh, raining. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's it's raining. It's drizzling out. Uh, it was not supposed to rain, and now it's it's freaking raining. <coughs> Anyways, now that the clouds are gone, now I gotta take my sunglasses out. But before I take my sunglasses off, I want you guys to check out uh, these sunglasses from Knock on Wood. They're pretty cool sunglasses. All their sunglasses are made of wood, specifically bamboo wood, and, uh, and they're pretty pretty good sunglasses. They're 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 not gonna break your bank. They're all polarized. Uh, some of them have wood on the side and plastic in the front, and some of them are completely made of wood. I will leave the link on the description below, and if you guys wanna use my promo code, it's gonna be ARRACING15 for 15% off. Just check them out. Now to get my haircut done. Oh, well, now I gotta go home, get all this hair in my face wash my hair all that stuff but uh let me go get that little bolt that i need from lowe's and then we go home and talk about my future mods that i'm thinking of doing pretty soon well we're back at home um i'm letting the uh engine cool down for a little bit because uh, it's pretty hot and I'm going to show you what bolts uh, the bolt that I need it the bolt that I actually bought in Lowe's doesn't fit but I still found like a bolt somewhere in my toolbox luckily one bolt because I was looking for a bolt that actually fits there I couldn't find it and then for some reason now I find one you know when you don't when you need it you don't find it but when you don't really need it you find it things like that 
So this is the little thing I'm just talking about. Uh, ooh, it's hot. It is very, very, very hot in here. Um, right there, that goes right there. And um, so this is what basically it's loose. And I'm pretty sure if like, if I'm like driving really like with some load and this taps here, I might get um, maybe some feedback knock, you know. Uh, also, one of the other things that I need to change is this. They sell another one of those little oil tubes um, to relocate it. I'm not sure where it actually relocates, but my piping, you can see it taps it. And I'm pretty sure this might create like some uh, feedback knock on the car. And you know, then you're like, holy crap. But yeah. Well, let's start with um, what the future mods for my STI are. So, um, as you guys know, or if you guys have been watching, uh, I did the whole power series. I added, you know, I changed my, I got some parent front mount, uh, TGV deletes, and all the stuff. I got headers, up pipe, down pipe, you name it, uh, almost everything. As you guys can see here, when I got the parent front mount in a cooler, my cob intake didn't really fit. Uh, so the filter goes like all the way to almost right here. And I had to cut the cob intake tube like like halfway right there. And really the diameter is a little larger than, than this here. So this is like super, super tight right there. Um, so one of the things that I want to get is the pairing cold air intake. And one of the reasons is because of this, right? And the other end, of course, like you guys can see, like this is all flimsy because it's not really made for that. And one of the biggest reasons is because this right here is sucking all the hot air from here. Everything, it, it really is. And you, I can definitely see it on the uh, access port, like the uh, cold, um, intake temperature. So with the pairing cold air, it usually comes from here and it goes down there, which hopefully, it grabs uh, less hot air. Um, so that's one of the things that I want to do for uh, in the near future. With this, I also want to do, because I'm going to need a new tune, I'm also going to do the air pump delete. So this should be, I'm not really sure if that's simple or not, but it's basically two plates. After I take this off, something goes somewhere back there and then you block this plate off and some other plate somewhere back there. Never done it. I just gotta look for it and, and do it. So, air pump delete it will be, and cold air intake is gonna be one of the things that are, are going to be next. Next thing I really wanna do is get a big, big, big wing. And I mean, really big. So, I want to keep the, you know, when I say big, I wanna get to maximum width and maximum height. Uh, staying between the rules of SCCA and time attack. So the wing that I want to get is like 70 inches wide and I don't know how tall it is but I'm not supposed to pass the roof line so I'm gonna try to max that out and I'm not supposed to pass the width of the car which is 71 inches or 71.1 some somewhere around there but the width of the wing is going to be 70 inches long and it's going to basically be as high as the roof. So that's one of the things that I want to do also next. Also, combating the hit soak for uh, the cold air intake, I want to wrap the headers, up pipe, down pipe, and the turbo. So you guys know that this is, you know, because I don't have no heat shields, no nothing because of the new, you know, headers and all that stuff in the downpipe it's it's really really freaking hot so i have plans to get a turbo blanket and a downpipe blanket uh so and i also want to get some uh the thermal wrap and i want to wrap the headers the up pipe and the tube of the the dump tube for the external wastegate because that's pretty close to one of my axles 
So that is another thing that I want to do. I'm probably going to do it all in a package, record it all, and be done with it. Of course, if you guys have been watching, you guys know that I am in need of some coilovers. Uh, the car is right now sitting on RCE yellows. They are pretty good, but uh, I've been racing a little bit, a while, and I, I, n I need some coils because I need a little bit stiffer suspension. I don't know if you guys have seen pictures of my car before. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I posted some pictures of that big, nasty body roll. And, um, and of course, like my front um, splitter almost like touching the ground. I do have white line, uh, white line rear sway bar. A lot of people tell me about putting uh, a stiffer sway bar, but I already, I already have white line. Uh, rear sway bar at the stiffest setting which is really really nice and I really enjoy it I really like it right now I got the stock wheels on it because I'm going to wicked big meet to uh, tomorrow and I don't want to waste my racing wheels uh, but another thing I want to get is a different set of wheels with uh, better rubber I need like some wheels that are uh, really good for autocross my other wheels my michelin sport cup are good but they're really great at the track but they don't get up to temp uh up to temperature for autocross so that's kind of like a bummer for me uh so i want to get something like that something wider and something uh pretty good tires for autocross another thing i want to do is i want to make my own splitter i want to get the material and basically i want to basically just use this and trace it and make a little like a maybe one inch bigger um i have bent this one i have hit so many cones and it's a tiny little bit bent so it's not perfectly straight i don't know if you guys can kind of see here this is a little lower here's high and this middle part is a little lower um also at the track um when i went to time attack i noticed in one of my pictures basically this side was straight and then this side was down so the air, I, I like the splitter, but going over 100 miles an hour, you, you, you can see there is some flex to it. So I need something, I need something stronger for, uh, you know, to, so it won't flex on me. Also, another thing that um, I should have done a long time ago already after time attack was replacing my brake fluid. It's like I, I got the brake fluid. To replace it but i'm kind of waiting on money and i want to buy some new rotors uh some stainless steel uh lines the the master cylinder brace and then do it all as one package and do it all so so i can get i get, get a little bit more stopping power uh, of course the new rotors gonna be i want to get get slotted rotors um already got the fluid braces to brace the freaking master cylinder uh, get it a lot stronger and new pads I want to get some like street autocross pads uh, not like the track track pads right now I do have my track pads but I can actually use it for the street for autocross and track so um, that is something I have right now because when I go autocrossing I need that stopping power because my last autocross it, my, the stock brakes were not good at all so as I mentioned earlier, I will be leaving to um, Wicked Big Meet tomorrow early in the morning driving. The drive is like around seven to eight hours. So I'll take you guys for the ride if you want to. Just let me know in the comment below if you guys want to take me on the ride. If I get any good footage, I might put it up. If I don't find anything cool, I won't. Uh, but one of the things I'm going to be autocrossing over there but I'll be autocrossing with my stock uh, Dunlop tires. The reason why is because I don't want to drive with my my dedicated uh, track tires all the way up there and waste my uh, tires. And I'm come I'm going with the family, going with my wife and my kid. And I don't have anywhere to put tires, and I don't want to switch it. I want to take the least amount of things possible because from after Wicked Big Meet, I'm going to Boston, New York, Philly for like a little trip, and. I'm taking the STI as, uh, as my little road, tr road trip car. I am definitely gonna be using the stock tires for autocross. I hope they don't do too bad. I've never really pushed those tires to the limit. And um, well, at least I got into the lower category 
of uh, autocross. Uh, what is it? Turbo Street, I believe, and then the, the bigger, higher class is Turbo Prepared. I, w I save a lot of money for this trip that I'm going to do. So the plan is after the trip, whatever is left, I can buy a mod or something. So the plan is I'm going to either get the big wing or I'm going to get the intake with the air pump delete and tune it. So it's, I got, it's in between two things. I mean, either do the wing or the intake stuff. So I haven't decided yet. Leave me a comment below what you guys think I should do. I'm leaning more towards the wing because I don't have to waste more money on the on the tune. Um, and then I can just buy the intake first and then the air pump delete stuff later and then install and then retune the car. Retuning the car is not too expensive. I do e-tunes. It's like 150 bucks for the e-tune using my same tuner. And after that, I don't know. Um, then it save money, more money till I can do more things. Um, hopefully one day my car is fully built with racing seats, racing everything. Keep racing with the car. And that's pretty much it. I just noticed while editing my video that my camera was completely unfocused and then it was more on focus and more on focus. I have no idea what happened. But anyways, let me close this video up. Uh, just remember, guys, like I said in the beginning of the video, I will be going to Wicked Big Meet. If you guys are going, just remember to come say hi. I'm number 30 and number 11 also on the car. I'm not a vlogger, so after Wicked Big Meet, I'm going up to Boston and then New York City and then Philly. If you guys are interested, and me kind of like taking you guys for the ride just leave me a comment below and i'll guess i'll try to get some good footage i'm gonna try to get my sti somewhere in there maybe take some pictures of a couple of monuments or buildings or whatever i will try to do that and that is it for today um i'll see you guys on the next one or in wicked big meet see you guys soon